And welcome back to Across the Board with Ian the Colonel here on hawkradio.org and across the board radio. Dot com. We like to feature some of the best bands in the world, uh, you know, not just in the U.S., but all over the world, and not only veteran bands, but new and upcoming bands. Absolutely. I've got to say in the world of rock, one of the best upcoming bands, I've only heard of, you know, a couple songs by them so far, but I love what I hear so far, has got to be Message to Venus. And we have lead singer John Dre with us right now. John Dre, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. How are you guys doing over there? Doing good, real good, well, good. man. Doing great. Uh, so, obviously, uh, you know, a lot of anticipation about the new album, uh, the full-length album being called Victims and Villains. Uh, yes. And uh, you guys are still independent, though. Is that correct? Yes, we are. We're indie. We're doing everything ourselves. Uh, we do have some uh, help with uh, Craig Saul, uh, Bam Bam. He's helping us out a lot from the, mm-hmm. from the Florida region. Absolutely. Uh, besides that, we've been doing everything on our own, you know? That's incredible. You've been doing it the right way, apparently. I mean, you're getting out there. You're on, uh, you know, our radio station. You're on a lot of like, satellite radio. You're out there as well. And the new single that's playing right now is Universal You, and I love it. But tell us what we can expect from the rest of the album. Well, Universal You is out of the EP called The Envelope, okay. five-song EP. That's a different recording from what we have coming out from the upcoming album, Victims gotcha. and Villains, which is recorded with producer Leo Alvarez out of uh, – Puerto Rico, mm-hmm. out of the metro area. Leo is a, a veteran rocker here in Puerto Rico. Um, he's done things all over the island and all over the states and uh, Spain. Really good producer, really good songwriter and musician, and he's really pushed the band into a whole other level uh, with this new co- upcoming uh, record. We got about four songs to go in vocals. Hopefully, uh, I should be able to finish this record off within the next two to three months and be able to have it ready for tour on summer. Wow. And if I'm not mistaken, Leo is actually the guy who suggested you uh, to the rest of the band, correct? Yeah. Leo actually is the one who gave me the phone call. Uh, I had a different project going on. The guys, uh, John, Edgar, and uh, Juanma had uh, another project going on with Leo, and their lead singer uh, just completely dropped. At that same time, my musicians were all... They were older guys. They were, you know, they had families, the usual story. And uh, Leo gave me a call. I went over there. We just mixed and matched everything we had. We blended it all together, and it's been really a great journey. It's been really, really blessing. So, Now, you guys have come out of Puerto Rico, and there's such a great music scene down there. Um, what other bands, and when we have bands on from across the world, we like to ask, what other bands can you recommend from that area that you listen to that was a big influence to you? Puerto Rico, uh, definitely the, the band called uh, Taboo. Mm-hmm. There's uh, another band called um, uh, False Rise that are doing pretty good. Uh, I, there's so many bands. I, um, La Frecuencia. Uh, there's, uh, man, I wish I just had a list. Uh, there's so many friends I could I can mention right now. But what I can say <laughs> is if you go to pulsorock.com, okay. Pulso Rock basically is a blog about local acts in this island, this part of the island, that uh, there's always constant shows. And um, can you spell that? Is, and, that? is that P-U-L-S-A or? Yeah, okay. P-U-L-S-A, Pulso, P-U-S-L-O, I'm oh, sorry. Oh, right. Pulso, okay. Pulso Rock. <laughs> Got it. Pulso Rock basically, uh, it blogs, all the musicians have their own blogs there, letting know when the shows are going on. Um, besides that, you can go to, to uh, prrockscene.com. Mm-hmm. And okay. uh, you'll also get a lot of info there on a lot of really good bands. Nice. We'll be posting as well on our Facebook. Uh, you go to Message of Venus, Facebook slash Message of Venus dot com, and we'll be posting uh, a lot of our band friends uh, to help them, you know, promote their own stuff. Because now comes out summer, so everybody's going to be bringing out new material. Well, and you guys have toured with a lot of other great Latin acts, including uh, Puya and El Nino. Um, you know, yeah. some of the guys in Nonpoint as well. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, so just what have you learned from some of those bands? I mean, I know you've been around the scene for a while, but as a band, Message to Venus is new. What have you learned from some of those sort of veteran bands, uh, you know, touring with those? them? Wow, we've learned so much. Uh, even stage conduct, um, from mm-hmm. everything to to uh, interacting with the crowd, everything to, you know, investing money and keeping CDs away uh, giving merchandise away. This is all a really big investment, but it's for the love of the music, man, you know? Yes, it is. And the amount of pride that I see all these veteran bands and time and pride invested, and, you know, you, you see some of these bands, even with their, their, their little babies backstage with them, and they're still out there doing it. You know, it's really, really inspiring 
um, the drummer of Fuya, yeah, Eduardo Paniagua, was a really good friend of mine. You know, he's got a full-on family, and he's still out there doing it. You know, these Absolutely. guys are still out there kicking ass on stage. Mm -hmm. And that's, you know, that's just really, really inspiring, you know? No, I actually, I love Puya. I absolutely love the album Fundamental. I love it. It's it's just one of those albums that's got so much rhythm. It brings a whole different sound to the rock scene as far as, you know, stateside. What would you like to see more out of, uh, you know, rock from around the world? Would you like to see more uh, diversity? Do you want to hear, like, a blending of cultural styles? What, yeah, what you, like you know what? I've, I've been listening to... I've been getting into stranger, more progressive bands, but when I say progressive, I don't mean dream theater, you know? Uh, I, when I say that progressive, I mean like mixture of sounds, mixture of different cultures, which is why why I, I like bands like Booya because they're mixing salsa, mm -hmm. which is New Yorican, uh blend of, of Cuban beats with New Yorican beats mixed with heavy metal. That's, yes. that's freaking wild, man, you know? And it worked for them. They did a really good job like that. Uh, there's another band from from Australia called Carnival or Cornival. I'm not sure exactly how you pronounce it, but okay. those guys are really great, you know. Uh, you got you get bands like that, and there's a lot of bands mixing also electronic music. Uh, I try not to blend too much into the electronic scene uh, because, you know, I just don't want to depend on it. Um, I love DJs and everything like that, but I really like the mixing, the, the mixing of, of all these type of blends of styles. It's really cool. Bands like Carnival. You know, I don't know if you guys heard of them, but they're a really, really good band. We have I've heard that name somewhere. Them. I've heard it. Uh, what you're saying, though, is you, you like being able to have some elements of electronic in it, but you don't want to sound like Korn's new sound, where they're so heavily dubstep influenced now. With, with Yeah, Spanx. well, you know what? That's, it's really cool. It's, I think it's cool they're doing that. Actually, to be honest with you, we're, we're doing, actually, uh, I got a friend of mine, a DJ called El Mil Feliciano. Um, he's actually doing a, a dubstep remix of our song Universal U. Really? Uh, yeah, it's coming out. It's coming out really, really cool. It's really, really interesting. Is he related we're not to your to follow, guitarist? We're not trying to follow corn. We're not trying to follow any trends. You know, we're just letting a DJ do his thing. Uh, he wants to remix a song, so we're letting him do it. That doesn't mean that we're going to change your style into dubstep. Right. Uh, I like that style personally. It's not my favorite style of music, uh, but I think it's pretty interesting. It's basically uh, a really progressive uh, style of electronic music. It's very, very interesting. And is he any relation to John, your lead guitarist? No, no, not okay. at all. Feliciano okay. has nothing to do. It's, uh, that's completely another guy. Okay. Uh, <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, it is interesting to hear, um, and I think refreshing to hear bands or artists that are doing different styles, you know, blending styles, right. like even like reggaeton and that kind of thing, you know, that you, you get to hear yeah. something different uh, with so many different uh, artists there. I dig it. Uh, where do you need to tour? Where do you feel that you, and, I, and I'm not saying want to tour, where do you feel you need to tour we are working on base. a tour on the whole East Coast now awesome. because that's where we have most of our contacts. Mm -hmm. um, all the way from from somewhere in Miami, all the way up to the Boston area, you know, as far as north as we can possibly go. Uh, that's what we want to be doing, um, basically, hopefully for summer. Uh, we're setting some dates down. Our manager's working on dates. So uh, we need to have a record finish, first of all. So right. uh, that's my priority. So I got the boys working on the on the – on the tour dates, but definitely I, I feel like we need, uh, I would love to get as far as California. Mm -hmm. I'd love to do tours all the way all over Europe, you know, if I was dreaming, but realistically speaking, we're going to make it this summer. It's definitely going to be East coast tour. Great. Well, we're on the East coast. So we're excited about that for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Oh yeah, man. As a songwriter, <laughs> no, <I'm> looking <laughs> forward to it as a songwriter, how do you know, you know, especially because you're in the creative process as we speak right now, you're finishing the album, still writing. How do you know when a song is finished? You know, how do you know, okay, I'm good with it now? I mean, how do you let that baby go instead of saying, you know, I need to squeak this? How do you know? Is it just a feeling, a you gut know, feeling that's, inside? That's, that is such a difficult decision to make because every time I'm so critic against myself, I'm so critical. Mm -hmm. uh, I criticize everything I do at an extreme level. Uh, you know, I don't mean putting down, but I just, I just really criticize everything I do and everything. I'm like, man, that can sound better. Man, that can sound better. Man, that can sound better. And then I got a producer like Leo, who is a, a total, you know, he, he's the unforgiver. He doesn't forgive anything. He won't let anything slide by. So, you know, the, the mixture of both of us together in a room is, is pretty, you know, scary. And, and it becomes hours and hours and hours. And we spend so many hours in that studio in a row. You know, it's like being in a casino. There's no clock. There's no windows. Mm -hmm. So 
So uh, it can get overwhelming. Um, and then I bring in the guys and like, wow, that sounds really good. And then, you know, and then we have to like, okay, we got to make a decision. This is it. As long as this, as long as I can produce it live, it's done, you know? I don't want to do anything on a record that I can't do live. Right. So well, that's, that's important. That's a good that's, point. That's, very, that's, that's totally a goal that I have uh, on this new record. Yeah, that's that's a really good point. Yeah. I actually heard uh, the Black Keys recently when they wrote Lonely Boy. They started freaking out because they realized it was so fast. They didn't know if they could recreate it Live. on stage. Yeah. yeah, and then they practiced and they were able to do it. So that's a really that's an interesting point. I don't think a lot of bands have that mindset nowadays. It used to be the the live tour supported the album, but you know, or at least yeah, be, used to which be is a, pretty sad. Yeah, I like just and, bands by the live performance. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it, it may sound cruel, but it's you know you can do it you can't do it so well i'll That's tell you true your boys non-point il nino are incredible live and uh, really looking forward to seeing you guys live uh, this summer as well and Definitely. again you'll be uh you know talking about uh you know the, the new album of course uh, you put out cold and gray that single came out last year um great song there universal you is out right now um yeah well the reason why universal you came out is because uh universal you actually was pushed in a soundtrack of a movie, Puerto Rican movie called The Witness, which is mixed martial arts um, with freestyle running, parkour. And really? uh, and uh, basically this friend of ours made this movie. He heard our music. He's like, wow, I really need you guys in my soundtrack. I'm trying to do a soundtrack. So we put it all together. Uh, he's like, what, you guys want a video? Sure, we want a video. So we made the video for us for the song and uh, implementing parts of the scenes of the movie uh, that video you can see on YouTube or you can see it in our Facebook and our message of And um, basically, it worked out perfectly well for us. So uh, a lot of radio stations have been playing it. They liked it. They liked the mix that we got going on with that song. Mm-hmm. And it's been a blessing ever since, you know? And you write everything on the guitar, correct? I mean, you, you, you play rhythm guitar in the band, right? I play rhythm guitar in the band. Uh-huh. Uh, most of the riffs on the new record are mainly John. Okay. Uh, because most of those riffs were done uh, when John... Uh, had uh, most of that stuff already done recorded when I went into the studio. Um, I have put uh, most of my, uh, a lot of my own ideas, but I'm more of a singer in this record. I'm, you know what? I'm, I'm a guitar player. Okay. This is my first step up being a vocalist. Oh, nice. So all of this has been a huge challenge for me. I'm, I came from a band, from a, 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 an eight-piece band, uh, and we were wow. all, uh, you know, we were all singers in the band. I was never the front man, so this has all been a really good challenge for me. It's uh, taking a lot of my energy. Uh, I'm up for the challenge, you know. So that's what happens. Yeah, way to continue to grow, man. Way to step outside your, you know, your comfort zone and, and keep going there. I'll tell you, I'm actually learning guitar right now. Um, you know, nice. Kinda, this a little bit, you know, later in life, but uh, getting on it now, yeah. And it's fun. I'm actually learning guitar and bass at the same time, trying to kind of complement each other. There, it's guitar is so hard, though. I mean, you know, yeah. it, you know what I'm telling you. The hardest thing I've had to learn so far, and I haven't gotten it down, is the A chord. Is there the a trick to that? The difference between you and me playing guitar is that I've played it more. That's the only difference, man. <laughs> you know? Yeah, but you can play that A, right? I'm telling you, man. My, <laughs> my hands aren't even that big, and I can't. I keep, you know, like one finger is on the damn fret, either uh, you know up front yeah. or behind, and I'm like, God, I gotta get it. But, and B, I, I got B minor. I'm getting there though. It's just practice, man. Practice yeah. makes perfect. Exactly. You mentioned this new this movie, uh, The Witness, and you said it's about MMA too. It's got a little bit of MMA elements yeah, to it. Yeah, it's got mixed martial arts We're involved. Huge fans. It's got a freestyle running. It's uh, it's pretty good production, you know. They uh, they did pretty well. It was in the theaters for about three weeks. Um, I believe it's about to be released in. Uh, it's called The Witness in Spanish, El Testigo. Okay. Uh, so uh, you can get that off of uh, off of our wall on our Facebook as well. Are you a fan of MMA yourself? Yeah, I watch I watch the UFC all the time. Yeah, uh-huh. so we're, we're you know, a fan. Yo, I'm a big uh, uh, GSP fan. Okay, uh, who isn't? Yeah, right. who isn't? I like huge? GSP. You know, of course, who isn't? And I also like uh, I like the dragon. You know, oh, the Yoda yeah, Machida. Oh yeah, Yoda Machida. I got a, I even got a, a fish called Yoda Machida. You know, nice. <laughs> <laughs> I, I and of course, uh, GSP just left Greg Jack- Greg Jackson's camp. I don't know if you heard that or not. That, yeah, I did. That's insane. It's so. big, right? Yeah, so I, don't, I, I guess uh, TriStar is going to do all of his his game planning from now, so that should be Let's see what happens. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's, he's a beast, and, you know, I think MMA is one of those things where once people really start to understand it and understand it's not, you know, this violent, just a violent act that's oh, in the yeah. middle of a cage, that's they really start to begin to appreciate violence. it, you know. 
and uh, I'm glad to see it getting a little more mainstream and a lot yeah, more Yeah, it's really cool. It's, it's really cool. I like that as well, you know. Let so me ask the you. amount of discipline involved is pretty intense. Absolutely. <laughs> we, we know that. We, we trained that. We trained the MMA for a few for years. years yeah. It's It's rough. It's Absolutely. rough on your body and your mind. <laughs> Again, yeah, uh, I practiced jujitsu for about three did years, you? but uh, yeah, yeah, but I'm a musician, so you know, jujitsu mm-hmm. hurts your joints. It does. So I like my wrist. <laughs> yes, that's true. Yeah, I tore a muscle on my shoulder. I can tell you. What's your favorite uh, submission? Um, I, I would probably say I love I love the rear the rear handed choke. You know? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'd go with uh, I think I'd go with Gogo Plata. You would. Oh, that's, that's a nasty. Man. That shin choke. Oh, it's sick. You uh, yeah. Would. Yeah, it hurts. Uh, Colonel here, I know, would go guillotine because he gets choked out with the guillotine all the time. Oh, what the <laughs> hell, dude? <laughs> yeah. Call, yeah. All right, so, Jandre, um, you know the world is going gonna, is gonna to end here in 10 to 15 minutes or so. What is the last song that you want to hear or perform? It can be either one. Yours or anybody else's. The last musical notes going through your head. What are they? Uh, honestly, yeah, I would love to play the Grudge from Tool, man. Ooh! <laughs> and you're pl- you're playing guitar on this too, and singing? I'm playing guitar and singing. Yeah, and John's backing me up. Okay. Oh, I love the Grudge. That is such. I I remember you remember that when I first got that album, I was sitting there. I would play it over and over again. Yep. And and that tempo change in the middle, I just as soon as it hits, oh, yeah. I crank the radio up. They're touring this summer too. We're gonna try to get on. Yeah, they on are. There. We're uh, all of us. We're all over the net. We're looking for tour dates, tickets. You know, I believe that Juanma, the drummer, and, and John and Edgar already got their set up. Uh, I haven't gotten mine yet. I already, they haven't seen Tool. I already saw Tool. Right. I'd love to see them again, but I really want to finish the record. That's, like, totally where my mind is set, so I'm but, trying not to get distracted from right. that, you know? It'll so, be a good reward for you once you're done with the record. As soon as I'm done with that record, I'll, I'll feel a lot more free and, you know, I'll be able to do a lot more things, you know? Yeah. So, so what, if, what are some of your goals as an artist, as a singer, as, as a man, you know, Obviously, one of them would be opening for Tool, I would imagine, or playing alongside them. That would but, be beautiful. Yeah, but what else? You, know, you know what? Just, just when I, I, I was thinking of goals, I remember back when I was a kid, I was like looking at these local bands playing on these big stages in these big pubs here in Puerto Rico. I was like, man, I want to do that. So I'm doing that. So now my next step is, okay, I want to do what these big boys are doing. So basically, just uh, we would we would love to get signed, right. um, and you know that would be great, just because of the. Uh, the, the, the relief of investment that we would have to do um, to be able to get on certain type of tours, you know, it just make things a lot easier. Um, but if that's not going to happen, if we keep going our own way, then that's fine because we've been doing it pretty good ourselves. We've been spreading the message ourselves. We've been getting about a thousand hits of likes on Facebook a week. Wow. I think that's pretty good, you yeah, know, for, for a sure. band coming out of Puerto Rico out of nothing, you know. So um, tour, that's all I really want to do. You know, just want to play live, play live, and play live, and play live, and then get back in the studio, and then be live again, and get back in the studio. That's the lifestyle I want to live. Yeah, who who does that? I'll tell you. Well, I think you know. I think you. Of have course, that. you know. Yeah. I'm just you asked me, so I'm answering. Yeah, absolutely, man. <laughs> and, and that's what we want from you guys. We want, you know, I want to hear this full length album, and then I want to see you live, and then I want to hear the next album and go from there. So again, yeah. message to Venus dot com. Check them out on Facebook, and the new album when it comes out is Victims and Villains. But uh, and when some, it comes out, you'll hear about it here. You will hear about it here, and we'll we'll be spinning it for sure. And uh, but right now we're saying what sometime in spring we think, correct? That's correct. Okay, great. Well, we're looking forward to that, John Ray. Again, we appreciate the time, man. And uh, no folks, problem. Thank you guys out, for inviting us out, man. Absolutely, man. Time. Check them out. Follow them. Uh, you know, let them know you heard about them here on Across the Board. And we'll be back in just a few minutes with Ian the Colonel on HawkRadio.org and AcrossTheBoardRadio.com.